Frank Warren said that uh, the fight, you know, um, is now no, no longer happening in the near future and stuff like that. And but then they are trying to give Dubois easy way out. You know, no. you have Bakole there, you have Joseph Parker there, you have Janjali there. Who among those fighters you think Dubois beats? I mean, outside Parker, who, who is a who is a very good boxer. Uh, do you think Dubois uh, beats Bakole? Um, you see, Bakole is no, uh, oh, no, 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 no. They would never let him fight Bakole. What are you talking about? Bakole would destroy him, man. No, he can't beat Bakole. What are you, Martin Bakole? No, they're not going to allow that to happen. Martin Bakole is 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 the best right now. He's the best right now. They never let him fight Bakole. Did you see how Bak Bakole destroyed the young kid, the young American kid that uh, that was rising? You, you think that was an easy fight for for uh, for for the young kids? Bakola went out there to destroy the boy to prove a point. That listen, man, the big dudes, big names are running away from me. So what is so they will not? Oh, okay, everybody hmm? is talking Bakole now. Uh, the IBF has ordered uh, Bakole versus Jang in that fight. Looking at that, Bakola fight, will destroy Jang, man. Bakola will destroy all those things. None of those guys are out of the class of Bakole, man. But Bakola, none so, of those guys you, are you, the you, class you, of Bakole. You read Bakole that high. Bakola is what are you talking about? Look at the, what he did the last fight. Yeah, I know, but, but, he, but he has a loss in his, his resume against Michael Hunter. So I think but uh, that was his first fight. He had a broken hand. When did that happen? That's like nine, ten years ago. Does that mean? And I didn't even realize. Um, I watched the fight live when it happened. It was ten, nine, ten years ago. Nine, ten years ago is not the same Bakola that we saw that fought that fight. Even he fought with a broken hand. I wasn't knocked out. Bakale is good, bro. He's good. This last fight proved that Bakale can do anything, man. He can do anything. I don't see any fighter right now that can fight a bit Martin right now. I don't see. He, just, he changes. He moves whenever he wants. He, yeah, he could fight Joshua because I don't know what happened to Joshua. Now, for Joshua to come up, if he cannot get Dubois again, Joshua has to fight other other people, other fighters. Now he has to go fight uh, this guy here, this this Brooklyn boy that makes a lot of noise. He has to fight and beat him up, and then whoever he's brought before him, he should fight. But I would not want Joshua to fight Martin right now because that's the next thing they would do. Okay, in your opinion, um, yeah, who should Joshua go for next? Realistically, is it Wilder? Well, is it Fury? Is no, he winner of no. uh, Fury? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Realist, uh, just like you said, realistically, they will not allow Joshua to fight uh, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is not all not that, like I always say, they're never gonna let that fight happen. I would not also want Tyson to see to see Joshua fight Deontay Wilder because Joshua is going to destroy Deontay Wilder. That's not the fight now. Well, the fight, well, well, it, Wilder, Wilder is set to fight. Um, Wilder is negotiating a deal with uh, Francis Garner. How do you think that goes? Well, uh, if it goes well, Garner is going to beat Wilder. Wilder is, you got to understand that Wilder is I don't, I don't, one. Wait, hold on, bro. You say Garner will beat Wilder? Yeah, Ungar is gonna beat Wilder. Wilder is one. Bro, he's not MMA. Wilder is boxing, bro. No, I know. Wilder is one one-way fighter. That's why he's having problem. He's a one-way fighter, which is just one hand, one straight hand. When you take away that hand, his chin is not that good to say, oh, he's gonna take much. He's gonna take much much uh, bullets and then still stand up while waiting to release one. So by the time you give Wala three, four punches, he's up. You destabilized him. So do you think that if Nkano fight Wilder, you think, you really think that Wilder is going to knock Nkano out? 
don't look, don't don't see how Joshua took Nkano so easy and knock him out. Joshua, I already said this. I don't know. I never really said this to like set it up. I know the problem of Joshua. I know the problem of Joshua. If you walk on the timing of Joshua, you beat him up. Joshua sets you up. When you allow Joshua to set you up, that's when he, he got you. What Dubua did to Joshua, he never given Joshua opportunity for Joshua to, to even plan that fight. It was coming out. It was a game strategy. It was a game strategy. Which Joshua responded back to Dubua after he had already gone down like three times or two times. He responded back. So when he responded back, he got caught. He didn't give his guard up. But if he fought the way he was fighting in round one, Dubois would have had respect for Joshua. But Joshua was trying to set Dubois up. In an attempt of setting Dubois up, Dubois was coming like a truck, like a force, and had no respect for his punching power and step him and get him down. So now Joshua consciousness came up. You know what? Let me go all out for this guy. That is how he should have fought this guy. And that is how he should have prepared to fight Dubois. No understanding that Dubois is a forward, always forward fighter. You see what I mean? Joshua should not have waited for Dubois to detect the way the fight should go before he was able to catch up. Now, he attempted catching up in round four, round five. He attempted catching up. And in that catching up, you see he was troubling Dubois. But but if Tyson, if 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 Anthony Joshua had if the coaches had prepared Anthony Joshua to return fire for fire while the guards were up, that fight could have gone not have gone that way, in my personal opinion, and the way I saw how that thing went. We might have to talk about this in future, bro. Hello? Man, I understand what you're saying, uh, but if Joshua had gone all in against Dubois, let's say he went, he he go, he went toe to toe with Dubois, I think yeah. that, that wouldn't have been a good idea, bro. No, 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 no. I think I think no, it would no, no, have no. been calculative. It was calculative pressure. No, it no, 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 no. I, I agree with you, but this is where the problem was. Joshua came in trying to set trap for Dubois. Yeah, and but, that uh, is the I, same I, I, thing. I, I, how are you trying to set trap and then leave your chin in the hair? And that is the same thing that the same thing Joshua was doing when he was fighting when he was fighting uh, uh, this is the Ukrainian guy. Usyk. Usyk. When he was fighting Usyk. For the truth fight, he was fighting Usyk. It's just that the punching power of Usyk is not in accordance with Dubois. So why Joshua would have been knocked out in first in the first fight, even in the second fight? Because all what Joshua was doing with Yusek was setting trap, setting trap. And and Yusek never allowed Joshua to set any trap for him. He walked into those traps and was dodging them. He never he was busy. He was busy with that heavy punching power. Now Dubois coming in to fight Joshua. Does that mean with a punching power, he never given Joshua any opportunity to set any trap. And Joshua never prepared this fight otherwise. Joshua going toe to toe with Dubois. I would disagree that Dubois would have had upper hand because you would prepare for it. So if Joshua want to fight Dubois again, he has to go toe. My toe to go toe by toe is you take time and prepare. He had six months to prepare for the fight. If you take if Joshua takes six months and prepare toe by toe, or to anybody who will be the dangerous fighter. Before before Uncle, how did Joshua used to fight? He used to go toe by toe with any fighter. Is that not right? Is that not how he was knocking out, knocking down people? Now, the carefulness of Joshua fighting tactical fight with common sense came in 
after and the and the and the, and the Riz junior knock him down he start being conscious which is good he grew up with you know maturity now you are fighting a guy you're fighting a guy that doesn't back down he comes all the time to fight you now your strategy is not to run around which you could do that too you could run around too you could run around joshua could also be running around while hurting him does that mean but you cannot stay in front of him be setting trap this guy is going to jump on you he's going to jump on you now prepare for the six months get beaten get beaten go on a rough training get beaten equip your your, your stamina get back your stamina and get beaten go forward because if you learn look he landed one or two two right hand on on this Dubois. Dubois was destabilized but because in round five he attempted to go toe by toe and lost his balance when he lost his balance if that if Dubois did not dock dodge that that punching power that double uh, that 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 Joshua gave that would have been something different it was the boy docking that power Joshua was destabilized and then the boy returned with a heavy punch that heavy punch was what kept him down he still came up meaning if he had prepared if he had a good fight strategy he would not have lost that fight Dubois was getting scared of Dubois, Joshua. They were getting scared. Whenever Joshua stands up to stand toe by toe with them, they were scared. So Joshua had a wrong game. Bro, we need to talk about this, man. We got to talk about this. Hello? Yeah, man, we're going to dive more into it. Um, I hope you're not recording, recording it. When, no, when you are, are you recording when, it? When you are, yeah, I'm recording it. I'm recording it. Oh, you're recording me now? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that I was on record. I would have prepared. Please, uh, let's talk about it maybe tomorrow. No, right. let's talk about it on Sunday. It's all right, it's all right. Let's talk on Sunday. I would really, really, because I've watched that fight over and over and over and over. I have so much to talk about that fight. Let's, if I, you know what? Let's discuss that fight on Sunday. Yeah, man, let's you discuss know? it. Um, I just need to talk about uh, the back fight and stuff like Unless that. Unless I'm but, taking uh, but, vacation. But, 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 you, but you know that um tonight um yeah uh, Imanodiasa is fighting right oh he's fighting with who i'm not aware of that i'm i'm i'm, I'm just busy with ufc fight I but know. i didn't uh, well tonight, i'm busy with yeah. ufc fight. Oh, the, oh, the is fighting. let's come out tomorrow um, tonight oh, is fighting tonight as well mm. so I, I will keep i will keep i will keep i will definitely watch that fight for sure okay watch anyway, it bro. i'm i'm taking vacation so I'm All gonna right. be free during my vacation. I'm taking I'm traveling on the 20th. I'm going to Japan on the 20th. So so when I go, I'm gonna be free. So we could I will call you. All right. Hello? Bro. All right, bro. I'm gonna call you so that we talk whatever we have to talk. But I have we have to talk about Joshua's fight in that region because I have so much to talk about Joshua's fight. Because I have watched that fight two hundred and ten times. Does that mean it was a wrong preparation? It was the wrong preparation. So, all right, bro. I'll call you. Yeah, yeah I'll call yeah, you when I take this. We talk. Yeah, soon, yeah. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. Uh, Thank you, my brother. Thank you, man. Oh. I I see what you're doing. You're doing a good job, man. Keep up. Keep up. Keep up. Yeah, thanks, bro. Good luck yeah. on your trip yeah. to Japan. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'll all call right. you. All right, bro. On the twentieth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Same place.